Welcome back for another Vesta tutorial. Today we're going to be cutting a gold nano crystal, but we're going to be using a different method that I stumbled across. Actually, there's another uh, person on YouTube who I found does Vesta videos, and they have a method for cutting crystals this way. So I'd, I'd like to share it with you in a slightly different context. I'll, I will link you to the original video. I think the channel name is Taylor Spark, something like that. So I'll, I'll send that over. Uh, I think that. That person has a very nice video, but I plan on using uh, his method in a slightly different way. So uh, here I am on materials project. I have a gold uh, uh, structure here. This is the cubic structure. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how to cut a nanoparticle where the exposed faces are the 111 set of crystal facets. And uh, there are some caveats to this procedure, so I just want to show you it. So let's say you begin in this materials project. What I do here is I actually get the conventional standard cell and I go ahead and open this and this opens Vesta for me. So here is the conventional standard uh, sieve file or cell for gold. Um, you know, nothing too crazy here. Uh, what we want to do is we're going to make a crystal. We, we want to get these 111 faces and then we're going to expand the cell and basically cut around those faces. Now, if we want to actually generate these faces though, uh, we're going to run into a problem fast. So how you would generate these faces is by going to edit, edit data, crystal shape. Now normally you would just type in your 111 crystal shape you want to generate and select apply. The issue though here is that it doesn't generate anything as you can see. And this was, uh, you know, throwing a stone in my shoe for a while. I couldn't figure out why this was but I, I, I know why it is now. So what you need to do first is you actually need to go to edit, edit data, unit cell. And you can see here that for some reason, our, our gold structure is classified as triclinic with the P1 space group. Obviously gold has much higher symmetry than this. So what we need to do is kind of typecast it, if you will, into the desired uh, space group or crystal lattice. So we know that it's this, um, oh, where is it? This F3M, I think I passed it. Okay, yeah, this is the crystal structure and space group from materials project. So 202, and then we can press, so you can see here it just has a single lattice constant now. You can press apply and select okay. Now if you go to summary, you can see that the correct space group is applied. Uh, we can head back quickly to materials project to make sure. Actually, it looks like it's maybe 225 uh, FM3M. Let's go back and see if that even exists in here. 225. Ah, yes, here it is. Select apply. Yep, so now you can see down here we have gone from 202 to 225. So apply, okay. Now we can go back into edit data crystal shape. We could have also just used the tab menu up here. So now, so now we can go to new and we can put in our 111 crystal shape, select apply, and you can see now it correctly applies. So it has to somehow sense the underlying lattice in order to generate these uh, faces. And one thing I do wanna do though, is I do wanna have all of my atoms here sort of included. So I'm gonna change this D spacing to two and select apply. You can see now they're all included. So after we've done this, we'll select OK. I'm going to center on C. And then I'm gonna to go to boundaries and I'm going to uh, do this expansion here. Okay, select apply when you're done. And so now all we have to do to create our, our nano crystal is we're just gonna to have to cut around this. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, please bear with me, I'm using just simply a, a mouse trackpad. So I just cut around this. It is fairly easy if you, if you use the toggle in the menu up here. So I'll go back to uh, C. Now I'm gonna go A and do a similar procedure. So what I like to do is just make sure you hit all these points here and you make sure these points are staying when you, after you cut. It can be tempting if you, if you cut from a certain direction or don't use the access as a guide, you'll accidentally cut an atom that should be on here. 
For example, when you make these kind of cuts, you can easily get it like that. Okay, so just keep cutting. And, and this, this method that uh, I discovered on his channel is I, I really liked it so much, I, I had to do my own video on it, but in a different context from how he did it. Um, so I think we might have got it all. Oh, looks like there's some stragglers. Okay, so I think we're done. Yeah, so, oh, two more stragglers. So this is basically our, our sort of gold crystal. Uh, it's, it's really nice, actually. Um, so here you can see the model. Now, if you want to hide this unit cell, like, for example, if you were to make a snapshot for a, a publication, you can hide this unit cell here by going to Properties, uh, Do Not Show, Unit Cell, then select OK. And so there, there you go. Uh, if you want to actually turn off the crystal shape shader, you can just click here and you can see now that we have turned it off. Uh, to turn it back on, you can click it. Now, if you want to actually show the, the labels of the faces, you can come to Object, Shape, and you click this L for Label. And you can see now that all of the labels are showing on the crystal faces. Um, Finally, let's go ahead and save this. So let's go to File, Export Data. Here we're just gonna go ahead and uh, save it to here, uh, AU Nano Diamond, one I have. And let's go ahead and save it as AU. Uh, now it's, it's not a Nano Diamond, it's a Nano Particle, but to me it makes sense to call it that. So let's go ahead and select Save. No, and then let's go ahead and open that up. And you can see, yeah, here's our file, uh, our, our structure. Going back to style space filling model, you can now see uh, this really beautiful crystal. So yeah, this is how you make this. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I think one of the things that was really needed to be explained was how to sort of typecast the space group. You're gonna need this uh, to be correct in order to get the correct faces generated when you go to edit, edit data crystal shape. So uh, let's leave this on a, on a dancing note. So yeah, uh, feel free to, uh, you know, leave a comment or if you have a suggestion for a future video, I'm gonna try to do this process maybe with a binary or ternary system. Trinary, ternary, <laughs> I don't know the term actually, but yeah, maybe we'll start with a binary. Anyways, take care everyone.